Hi, this is JP from Not Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to the second episode of the 3 meters parallel investigator playthrough. And we are continuing to uh, scenario 1B, Waking Nightmare with parallel uh, roadline banks. And uh, if you want an in-depth uh, uh, deck overview, uh, check the uh, deck overview video I made earlier. I'll put a link to the upper right corner if you want to check that out right now. So check that out first and then come back to this video. And uh, well, uh, we uh, already played the skits scenario, uh, the 1A scenario, so now it's time to start the campaign on the waiting side with Roland and we start in the waiting room uh, we have two chaos bags here well this is the chaos bag and this is the infestation bag so we this we don't need yet we need it later when we start taking um, uh, those uh, infestation tests so this will be our uh, chaos bag and I am using coin capsule the tokens in this campaign because I need two separate chaos bags for both so use, using my usual tokens on the dreaming side and on this side those uh, coin capsuled uh, cardboard tokens but it is what it is so we start in the waiting room and uh, well that's basically everything so without further delay let's get started Okay, so we are ready to start. So uh, first off, we need four clues to advance the agenda um, or the act, and we only have two two thresholds to do that. So I think we need to get some clue tech going and start getting some clues. So first off, we draw our opening hand of five cards: one, two, three, four, five. Hunter's armor, runic axe, hunter's armor, take the initiative and stead, steadfast. So I'll keep the runic axe. I really don't need these hunter's armors. I'll take the take the initiative and I even don't need the steadfast that much. So I'll mulligan these three. One, two, three, we'll get uh, the two more times two. Well, we'll shuffle this anyway. So yeah, that's that's about it. So. We'll shuffle these back into our deck. Not in a rush to play the Runic Axe yet, because we don't have any enemies in the deck. We, well, we have those two order links that we pr probably would just uh, void. So I think I'm investigating, uh, shortcutting and possibly investigating again in the records office to get those clues. Okay, and we need to keep in mind of the directive, so I can only play two cards a turn, fight twice a turn, or move twice a turn. But, um, first off, we will investigate, and I am investigating 3 versus 3, but I'll commit, take the initiative to this test. I'll commit one of the Tetsuo Moris to this test, so I am investigating 4 versus 3. So, 4 versus 3. Uh, uh, it is a minus 1, so we get this clue. We don't need that man much Tetsuo now that we have the axe already. So, uh, fast triggered ability will shortcut to the records office. Two clues here, Shroud of Tree, and uh, uh, we will just investigate. I'm committing the other Tetsuo Mori to this test to. No, uh, first we'll commit take the initiative so we only have uh, spent uh, we lose one of those uh, wild eagles so we are 
5 versus 3. And Skull is a minus 1, minus 3. Instead, if you are engaged with a staff enemy, we aren't. So we grab one clue. Last action. We'll investigate again. Now I'm committing the other Tetsuo. 4 versus 3. It is another skull, so we grab also this clue. Well, that's a really fast start for Roland. And that is everything. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw a card. Another runic axe. Well, who shuffled this deck? But, well, at least we have weapons. And uh, we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. One of two. Encounter card for this round is Dissonant Voices. So uh, you cannot play assets or events. Uh, well, I wasn't going to. So, uh, first two actions is one, two, we'll move to waiting room, to emergency room. It is a shroud of two with one clue, so we'll just investigate for a last action. I don't have any cards to commit. But during a skill test while investigating, uh, we don't have any enemies engaged, so we can't use that. And we don't have any tactics or inside cards to play. So, I am investigating uh, 3 versus... 3 versus 2. Hopefully we can get this so we can advance before the agenda. Okay, 3 versus 2. Uh, minus one, so we pass, and uh, we will immediately advance. Looking for answers, so we advance to a promising lead. Put the set aside stairwell and basement door locations into play. Check the current agenda. If it's agenda two or three, make an infestation test. If it's agenda one, immediately advance to agenda two A. Okay. So we skip this, I think. I have to... If it's Agenda 1, immediately advance to Agenda 2A. So we have to advance this, so shuffle the set-aside spiders in counter set and each set-aside copy of Outbreak into the encounter deck, along with the encounter discard pile. Draw the set-aside, the infestation begins story, card, and resolve its text. So these are shuffled. Let's see. Spiders and copy of the outbreak. So these are the spiders. These are the agents of Atalak Natcha, which we won't shovel yet. And then we get the outbreaks. Then we get stairwell and the basement, which we put into play, I think. So let's check again. So set stairwell and basement door locations. Okay. So this goes away at the end of the round. So we have the stairwell. And we have the basement doors. Which I'll put over here. And then uh, the infestation spreads. At the end of the mythos phase, make an infestation test. Then, uh, search for the patient objective if an investigator controls Randolph Carter advance. So we have to find Randolph. But that is basically it, so... Uh, no enemy actions will go to upkeep, we draw a card. A paranoia, well, that was a bad time to paranoia. And then we gain one resource, so... Couldn't help that because we couldn't play anything this round. But at least that's out of our deck. Now we just have to uh, 
Get a couple of resources to play the runic axe if we start hitting enemies, but it is what it is, so... And, uh, that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a doom, one of six. Encounter card for this round is Rotting Remains. Uh, test will about three for each point to tell by the four. Nothing to commit to this test, so we are testing three versus three. Minus four. Well, we'll take three horror. Because why not? So we still have five uh, sanity left. But it's it's looking bad. And uh, then we do an infestation. Oh yeah, we have to resolve the this card. So we created the uh, infestation back. There are one skull, four tablets, and two cultist tokens in it. Then uh, at the end of the middle space, we do an infestation test. So skulls we set aside, search the encounter deck, and discard pile for a spider. And then it's spawn it if it at the infestation that location nearest to any investigator. If we don't have any invest... Uh, let's see. Did we miss an invest infestation? Oh yeah, place one damage token location with the most clues. The two location with the most clues if there are three or four investigators in the game. For the remainder of the scenario, damage tokens on locations represent spreading infestation. Each location with a damage token is called infested location. So, there are no clues on any location, so I will, uh, it doesn't say that it needs to be a location that is revealed. So, I'll just place one clue or, or one infestation in the basement. That's it. Then... Uh, we will do the infestation test. So, <coughs> skulls we spawn an enemy at the infested location. Uh, cultists set this token aside, choose a location connected to an infested location. That location becomes infested. infested. And uh, tablets we set it aside and do nothing. It is a tablet, so we'll set it aside here and keep this here so I. Probably will remember to do the infestation tests. So, uh, yeah, uh, that is the middle space done. So we'll go to the infest investigation phase. First action: we'll move to the experimental therapies ward. Two clues here. Crowd of four. We don't have a good uh, ability to invest uh, investigate at the moment. So, I think I will move again. So, after you enter stairwell from a non basement location, move to a basement location. Test agility 4 if you fail, take 2 damage. So, that is not a move action. So, we can actually do that. So, we'll do that. Uh, testing 4 versus 2. So we fail, we take 2 damage, but we get a free movement out of it, so that's good. We have plenty of health. And we go over here. So, private room, action parlay, test will both 2 if you succeed, test uh, knowledge 2 or intellect 2 if you succeed. Investigator at this location may spawn one clues as a group to give control uh, control of the set aside Randolph Carter asset to an investigator at this location. So. Uh, we know we need to spend one clue there, but we don't have any clues at the moment. Uh, I can't move anymore, so last action will be to gain a resource. So next turn we possibly may play the runic axe. And that is our turn, no enemy actions, we'll go to upkeep. We draw a card, Crown to the flame, that is useful if we go back to the experimental therapies ward later. And we gain a resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a doom, 2 of 6, and counter card for this round is... Suspicious Orderly. Well, it engages us. Very suspicious. 
we need to get rid of this. So suspicious orderly cannot attack, be attacked or be dealt damage. While suspicious orderly is engaged with you, you cannot investigate. Well, ain't that uh, annoying. Okay, well, we can just discover clues without investigating, so that's that. Okay, let's uh, do the investigation test now. Another tablet. So, two tablets left and the rest are bad tokens. Okay, well... Uh, I think I'll double move and just experimental therapies ward get those clues. Because that's two victory points. So we'll move, move. This guy moves with us. And we'll uh, draw onto the flame here as our last action. So, uh, we draw an encounter card. Swarm of spiders. <laughs> well, of course it is. Swarming two. So we lose two cards underneath it. Then uh, x equals the number of swarm spider enemies at this location. So it's a agility two enemy. Place it over here. Actually, let's uh, put this guy over here too. So these are engaged with me. So, okay, well, that was a bad pull. Now that enemy hits us for three damage. And we can't do squat about that. Okay, well. Uh, yeah, so that was that round. Uh, We'll draw a card, guts, and we get a resource. That is that round, let's go to... Oh yeah, and we of course got these clues. But yeah, that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a doom, three of six. Encounter card is another swarm of rats. Well, aren't we lucky? Uh, I think we're gonna die soon enough. <coughs> uh, I have to start thinking of just moving away so that I won't drop my clues on this location if I get defeated. Well, well, uh, if only I would have the runic axe in play so I could just spin once and kill all of these, but it is not so, so. Mm, well, <clears throat> I can only fight twice, which is... Uh, actually... I will evade, because now I can use this directive. So, I will exhaust that. I'll evade. Oh yeah, uh, first we do the infestation test before we do anything. And it is uh, called this, so set this token aside, choose a location connected to the infested location. That location becomes infested, place a damage token on it to mark this. Then if there are two or more set as, uh, cultist tokens set aside, uh, return all the set aside infestation tokens to the infestation cache. So this location comes in infested, these are set aside. And... Uh, Okay, let's now do the evasion. Well, it doesn't really help us because the, that damned those worms are now six to evade. So I'm just uh, flipping this as the one that I can flip. Again, uh, during a game, so I can fight more than. Okay, I'll do that uh, later. So now, first, I'll fight uh, six versus one. Minus three. 
We kill one swarm. Now we'll flip this over. We don't need it anymore. So we can flip one of the directives uh, during one uh, limit once per game. So we can't uh, flip these two anymore. But we don't want to flip this. We don't. Uh, we basically don't need to flip this. Second action, we will hit again. Uh, four versus one. Minus two. Last action, we will hit four versus one. And it is an uh, elder thing token, which is X. X is the number of infected locations, so we still hit and defeat this enemy. That is the whole turn, just swinging and killing of spiders. Uh, we'll go to enemy phase, so th those three will hit us for three damage. Nothing we can do about that. Uh, we ready, we draw, prepared for the worst, useless. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Encounter card. So this round is uh, rotting remains. Uh, we will commit guts to this. So five versus three plus one we actually succeed in a test so we get bandolier and uh, won't take any horror which is good so this round we will just kill off the rest of the spiders next round play hopefully one of the runic axes and start doing something else okay so uh, four versus one Uh, minus two, so oh yeah, we forgot to do the damn infestation test again. It is a tablet, so uh, nothing happens. Okay, now four versus one, first hit. Minus two, we kill off one spider. Four versus one. Plus one. Four versus one. <laughs> really quick turns. Minus two. We managed to kill off these spiders, finally. But it took a long time and we took a lot of damage. But it is Arkham. Sometimes you just get host by the scenario. So that this annoying guy is still uh, on us, but it is what it is so nothing else happens this round we'll go to upkeep we draw a card take the initiative we get the source that is that round let's go to the next round we add a doom one uh, five of six encounter card is glimpse of the underworld when you would take a damage and a horror take one additional damage or horror discard glimpse of the underworld take Damage and one damage and one horror. I think I will just take those damages and horrors so we get rid of that. Uh, actually, I can't take it. I'm one damage away from getting defeated at the moment, so yeah, we need some soak. So we have the bandolier. That's actually okay. Well, first action we'll play a runic axe. Hooray, we got it! Four charges. Well, now we just hopefully won't die before we get to use it. Second action, we'll play the bandolier. Then uh, we will, as a fast trigger ability, spend 
uh, take one damage on one horror. So we get rid of this, get, take a horror. Last action, we'll move here. Next round, we can investigate. We take the initiative to get the clue. But that is up. Uh, we actually have to get rid of this damn suspicious orderly first, but it is what it is. So that is that uh, round. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw perception. Great. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Hopefully, we won't die before the next investigation phase. We add a doom, so the agenda advances, unfortunately. Let's see. Um, hell breaks loose. Uh, find each suspicious orderly enemy in play and replace it with the set aside corrupted orderly enemy. That's good, because now we can just kill it. <clears throat> so this comes uh, into play and just destroy it. So we remove the suspicious orderlies. Just a moment. From the game. This shuffles in here. So set its encounter deck and disc profile for each copy of yeah, shuffle the set aside agents of Atlak Nacha and encounter set its remaining set aside corrupted orderly enemy at the encounter discard file into the encounter deck at one. Uh, skull token and one uh, cultist token to the infestation Good for those. Luckily, I have the tokens here at hand. So. Okay, so these go into the infestation bag. Okay. So everything gets shuffled in. Now, luckily, we won't do a next round infestation test. So there is hope not to draw anything bad at this round, but that is a slim chance. We'll see how that goes. Okay. So, I think that's uh, shuffled enough. Now, uh, then we'll draw an encounter card. It is frozen in fear. Well, uh, that sucks. So, fighting, moving, and evading. Well, hopefully, we can get rid of that. So, now. This guy, when corrupted orderly is dealt one or more damage while in a, at an infested location, cancel one of that damage. So we need to deal three damage to this guy, which won't be a problem. First action, we will use the runic axe. We will spend one, two to boost our. Uh, damage up by plus two, so we'll deal three damage minus one, so that will die either way. And I will commit this uh, prepared for the worst to the test. So we are fighting, that costs two actions actually. We are fighting for uh, uh, five versus two. So we should be able to. Uh, 5 versus 2, so we should be able to defeat this guy, okay? <coughs> Skull, and it actually, this is a staff enemy, so it is a minus 3, but still we managed to hit it, so we defeat it. And uh, second action, we'll investigate, committing perception to the test. And I am investigating uh, six, uh, no, five versus three. Okay. 
5 versus 3. Oh yeah, and we didn't do the move extra this round because we would have died. Uh, zero, we'll grab this clue, we'll draw a card, we get crack the case, which we play immediately. So we get... Um, two, three, three resources. We have extra resources to play if we need to. Oh yeah, and we forgot to totally do that damn investigation. Oh uh, no, no, the... <coughs> Uh, infestation this round, okay? So Hopefully this doesn't change up the game. Okay, so that is the last uh, Tablet so next round something bad will happen definitely But uh, that was our turn. We'll try to get rid of this one And I'm just testing it Three versus three. Zero. So we get rid of that. Well, something good at least. So that is that round. No enemy actions. We'll go to upkeep. We draw Roland's 38 special and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. One of eight. This is the last agenda. Encounter card for this round is uh, Whispers of Hypnos. Uh, Choose a skill, willpower, uh, intellect, fight, uh, combat, or agility for the re remainder of the round. Each investigator gets minus two to the chosen skill. We need um, willpower and intellect here, so I'm choosing agility. Yeah. Oh yeah, this replenished one at the end of the... Well, at the start of the e of each round. Then we have to do the infestation test. And it is uh, uh, what uh, cultist, so we invest. Might as well invest that one. Okay. And these go all back into the bag, so that's, that helps us quite a bit now. So, first action, we'll move here. Second action, we will parlay. And uh, uh, first I need willpower, so I'll commit that. Okay. Willpower, we are... Uh, with that, we moved one, so we are five versus two. Elder sign. Uh, what does Roland do? Plus two. Choose a directive as that you may ignore its regulation ability this round. So we are ignoring the move limit. Yeah. Doesn't matter. So next we have to test uh, intellect. To committing the Roland 38 special to the test. So we are testing uh, 4 versus 2. And it is a minus 1 because no uh, staff member, so we pass. We spend 1 clue per investigator. And uh, I'll get control of Randolph Carter. So you get plus one uh, willpower and plus one intellect. That's great. Uh, after a, a Elder Thing token is revealed during a skill test at the location, except Randolph Carter draws two cards. That's good. Then uh, we advance. So shuffle the encounter, discard pile, and the encounter deck. Uh, each invested location gains test uh, uh, willpower X, X uh, to attempt to seal the rift. X is the location shroud. Investigators at this location may spend one clue as a group to automatically su uh, succeed. If you succeed, replace the damage token on this location to a horror token. For the remainder of the game, th this location cannot become invested. 
Okay, so last action, I will do that test here and I'll spend one pool. So we automatically succeed, so this just changes. We don't have to test. Okay, that is my turn. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw a card, vicious blow, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Uh, let's go with the next round. We add a doom, two of eight encounter card. Uh, we forgot to shuffle the encounter deck, uh, discard into the encounter deck. Oh yeah, and this went away after that, so we'll just do this quickly. So much to remember all the time. So, uh, now we basically need to uh, get these two sealed off. And uh, then we win the scenario, so hopefully we can manage that. We have uh, Randolph Carter in play now, so we have a... Uh, a couple of health buffs uh, to keep us alive, hopefully, but we'll see. Okay, so the encounter card for this round is uh, Will of the Spider Mother. Test, Will Power 3. If there is a spider enemy at your location, you cannot commit cards to this skill. If you fail, you cannot attack or investigate until the end of the, this, the round. We can just ignore this. It doesn't uh, prevent us from moving, so we'll test 3 versus 3. We don't have uh, anything. Uh, I'm actually 4 versus 3 with the help of Randolph Carter. Minus 1 we pass, so that's good. And the first action we'll move. Second action we'll spend a clue. And we'll just uh, change this to this. So now this can't actually spread anymore. Because we have blocked the ability to uh, move um, or advance the infestation oh yeah uh, we'll need to pull a token from the infestation back before this so let's see what we get it is a tablet so we are okay uh, last action we'll move over here let's not be greedy so two shroud one clue two victory point choose an investigator at your location and test uh, intellect 4. If you succeed, heal 3 damage from that investigator. If you fail, deal 1 damage to that investigator. That, that actually could help us be a bit greedy, but we'll see. So that is our turn. We moved twice. Uh, we did one uh, auto succeed test. So that's everything. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw a card. Oh yeah, uh, we replenished one token here at the start of the round. So we draw a bandolier and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, and uh, we add one doom. So three of eight. Uh, encounter card is night terrors. Uh, put night terrors into play in your threat area. After you fail a skill test, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Draw each weakness revealed this way and remove the other cards from the game. Action if night terrors is in your threat area, test. Willpower 4. After this test ends, discard Night Terrors, even if you fail. Okay. I think we'll just ignore that. Uh, yeah. So do we want to be greedy? No, I, I think uh, it's safer to just clear this and do the test. So we'll do the investigation test here. We are 4 versus 2. And uh, nothing to commit to this test. So let's see. 4 versus 2. Minus 2. We'll grab this clue. Second action, we'll spend the clue to automatically clear this. And if there are no infested locations in play, advance. The next step, check campaign log. If Dr. Maheswaran joined the investigation and she was in the play when the scenario ended resolution 1, well, uh, she wasn't. Uh, so if Dr. 
Dr. Mahesh Warren stayed with the patients a resolution 3, so we'll get the resolution 3. And uh, I actually forgot to do the infestation test again. So we'll just uh, resolve that. So uh, we get this, but that can't spread, so nothing happens. Yeah, so that's that, because it can't spread uh, from this invested location any anywhere, so we are safe. So, resolution 3. Uh, in your camper lock, record Dr. Mahesh Warren is alive. In your camper lock, record Randolph's escaped the hospital with the investigators. Anyone investigator may choose to add Randolph Carter, tend to the waking world uh, to their deck. This card does not count towards investigator deck size. So, skip the resolution 5. Uh, each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. We got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 experience. Okay, okay. Well, we started with five, so we're, we we have plenty. Uh, remove the infestation bag and all infestation tokens from the game. This is not need. There is no need to keep record of them. If you are playing well, now we get the interlude uh, portion of this uh, dual campaign. So uh, in the at the start of the next uh, video, which will be. Uh, when I get to record it and play it, uh, it'll be the uh, a thousand. Well, the second scenario of this uh, uh, B side, which will be uh, a thousand shapes of horror. So we'll we'll be continuing with Roland next time. So I will tell uh, what I decided uh, at the interlude and what happened. So we'll go over that and we'll also go over the upgrades into the uh, what which I made to the deck in between scenarios so hope you guys like this playthrough uh, I feel like this is a fun deck to play when I get a bit more experience into it so we'll see uh, thanks for watching and until next time